I am Gerben. And this is our son, Benjamin. 2020 has been a year of adventures and challenges. We drove all the way from Amsterdam to Didem, Turkey to get to our sailing home. We did a total refit and now we can finally start sailing around the world while setting up and expanding our businesses. Join our adventures and welcome on board. trying to find some uh, leakage or it's a salt water pump of the engine but we just replaced a new Hi. pump for the fridge because it wasn't running anymore so the compressor was overheating so it's always uh, something on a boat never a dull moment not even on mother's day so do i need to do more yeah can you look outside if there is water coming out let's see if we have water outside the fridge. I don't know where to look yet. I'm not seeing much water yet, but I really don't know where to look. I'm gonna ask where to look. I really don't know. So, well, we had some amazing help from our neighbors, and there is Graham, and Graham has with his wife a Beneteau 57 as well, and uh, he is very handy knows a lot about the boat and helps Karen out and we're a little bit jealous they have their boat top notch everything is clean everything is perfect condition for us the things electrical and motorical thing is in perfect condition uh, but we could clean a little bit more but hey we're entrepreneurs and we have a kid on board so it's a little bit different i guess but uh, they are so nice it's always fun to be um, people who have the same boat you always learn a lot oh benjamin no i thought it was pretty you were like a look at this he's, he's dirty as well yes yeah, it's, it's, real it's mechanic. a mechanic he probably will know more about motors and sailing uh, when he turns 15 okay. than we know now. We are waiting for the moment when he says, okay, daddy and mommy, I go out sailing. Oh. You stay in bed, I'm gonna lift the anchor. Yeah. <laughs> and water? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Can you show it with the camera? No, it's too far away. Okay, but it's working. It's working. Gocek is the, um, they say, the Monte Carlo of Turkey. So yeah, there's a lot of high speed tenders, big motor yachts going on. We have some stuff to pick up. And we have some stuff to pick up. Yeah. What do we have to pick up? Well, if we're very lucky, we're going to have our new dinghy. Okay, so we had a problem with our dinghy. As you can see, it officially died. It gave up on us and we have some other stuff uh, being delivered here and uh, yeah let's show you a good check for a couple of days and then we are allowed to enter greece so sailing okay. coming up no fear just sat in front of the bow while sailing and i wasn't allowed to hold him of course i did but, uh, it's such a troublemaker
Okay, we're gonna anchor here in Cleopatra Bay. Yeah, Hammam Bay. Hammam Bay. Hamam Bay. And there are, uh, there's the old Hammam where there. Cleopatra <laughs> would come back in the days. To take her mom. Mm. To take her mom. Hammam. Hammam. Hammam, mom, mom. And what's our spot? Well, this one at the front, at the peak, and they have in Gocek all these uh, small poles coming out of the rocks because <laughs> you're not allowed to tie your uh, lines to uh, the trees. So okay. we need to find them. Where are we going, Benjamin? So we are tying the landlines, and when she found a good spot, we can drop the anchor, go backwards, and then she will tie the other one as well. But it's uh, beautiful over here. It's a small harbor, a restaurant, and crystal clear water. That's uh, that's nice because not everywhere in Gertjek is crystal clear water. We met a beautiful lady here in the bay. She says she is the sister of Cleopatra, <laughs> and we and it's true. But she is such a beautiful soul. Yes, he makes everything by herself. In winter time, in is winter it? In winter time, and in summer times, he comes here in the bay of uh, Cleopatra, the Hamam Bay, to sell all the things that she makes. And in this way, she can stay with her kids all the time, and the kids can play here in the most beautiful spots. And that's a simple but beautiful life. And yeah, it's a really special lady. So we would love to introduce her to you. And Benjamin plays with their kids all yeah. the time. It's really fun. What's your name? What's My your name? name is Norjan. Uh, I born uh, on this island, and I live around here. And what do you make? What do you make? I have lovely shirts from 100% cotton. Okay. All yeah. cuts, things, uh, designs are mine and different colors. So I work hard in the winter and sell them uh, four months in the summer. And this one here is really Turkish de oh, de designs. Oh, yeah. uh, nice colors. Oh, yay! My boat is quite small to keep all of them yeah. here. Yeah. And with uh, blue eyes designs are here. Beautiful. Wow. Slowly hand makes eye design. And this is another one wow. here. <laughs> this is my design also. I like that one yeah. too. And with the cotton and natural lines here. Yay. I like that one. <laughs> Yay. This one's here. Yay. And many different ones here. And very nice pillows. Yay. Benjamin loves oh, everything. Yeah, 
fish on board? Yeah. Okay, let me show him. Yeah. Yeah? Green onion, garlic, tomatoes, olive oil, just a little bit potatoes. Just rising, and today we are going to uh, the Marine Gut Shack to pick up our new dinghy to wash and clean the boat and to do all the laundry. We're gonna say goodbye to this beautiful bay, and we met some beautiful people here. So I'm gonna move the boat to uh, towards Gut Shack. We're gonna sail a couple of days over here, and then we uh, prepare ourselves to uh, sail into Greece. is doing the laundry so I changed my clothes put everything in the laundry and it's a lot and uh, yeah our washing machine broke down so we have to do it all by uh, 
uh, with others right now. We can't do it by ourselves. And Benjamin was really sick, so he threw up for three days and six nights. Three days the whole day and six nights. He was waking up between one and two and then was throwing up, throwing up and then went to sleep again. So I'm going to show you. It's really, really a lot. These are a few of the guest cabins, our uh, towels. But here we have some laundry. Here we have laundry. Here we have laundry. But here's the biggest part. Ta-da! All the bed linen that is uh, really dirty. And we're really lucky that we have a lot of bed linen. So we could change every time uh, Benjamin show up. But that means that we have a lot of washing to do. And tomorrow our guests are coming. Leila and Sean, really beautiful friends. And we can't wait to have them on board and to sail a couple of days. So we want to make the boat clean and tidy for them. And then we have the bigger boat jobs. And the first priority is fixing the water maker. That's what's made us all very sick. It is, huh? But it isn't ours, it's the new one. This is the new one. So for us, Daisy and the Marina are like uh, getting stuff. These are the belts for the furler. We have some in spare now. We ordered a new propeller for the outboard. So our days are fully packed when we are in a marina. So it's washing the boat, it's getting fresh water, cleaning inside out. And it's really interesting to see because there is a big difference of the day marine marinas. So the one in Didem, it's very modern and a lot of concrete and industrial. And here in Gutschek, it's a lot of flowers and more like, a, uh, like an old marina. Hopefully we get the new dinghy today. We will pick it up later. Benjamin and Gerben because I think they have something which we're very very excited about it will end our adventures on the sub which we love but we also love to have a normal transportation from the boat in case of emergency they should be around here somewhere Let's see this is the place where the dinghies are stalled so yes we got a new dinghy oh look <laughs> there they are wow and the guys from day marine they already prepared it oh they are so kind here so i was expecting them in a box and it's very heavy yeah but uh hello, hello. Yes. so Whoa. when we came they just inflated it already so we have a dinghy yes do I need to come on board? Yeah! Oh my goodness! I don't want to make it dirty! <laughs> no! <laughs> wow! Okay. okay! Yes, yes, okay! Okay! Can she? Oh! Hi! Oh, we're rowing then! Oh, yeah! <laughs> we got this amazing offering of high fields for a new dinghy! But we wanted one that was really difficult to get here in Turkey. Yeah, so we wanted a black one, a little bit bigger. With a double bottom. With Hyperlon instead of PVC. It wasn't available here in Turkey. And when the guys from Highfield noticed that our previous dinghy died. Yeah, really died, died, died. So we sent them a picture of, okay, we really need a new dinghy with all the breath out. <laughs> yeah, Steve contacted us and he said, guys, I can't deliver the the one you really want uh, but we're gonna provide you one so you don't have to be on the subboard going to shore so you have a dinghy now yeah so this is really amazing this kind of service even for us as Tansreel is just amazing so Highfield has made raving fans of us for the rest of our lives so we will never leave the Highfield branch ever I think yeah no, that's, no these it, things it, make the difference it is I really like this so we keep everything dry yeah we can put the stuff in Row, row, <laughs> row the boat. <laughs> row, row, row the boat. Row, row, row the boat. Row, row, boat. Yes. Row, row, boat. Yes. Row, row, row the boat. Row, row, row boat. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Ta-da! Damon, do you remember? La moment supreme! Will it start? Laundry of three weeks? I will complete the uh, wardrobe. Final set of diapers for me. Day Marine, Day Marine, this is setting up perfect sense. Over. Hey. Say hello to the camera. Hello. <laughs> Check because we're still waiting for some uh, deliveries. Just arrived and our newest spot is at the edge of the Bay of Gojek and uh, the boys are doing their thing with the dinghy they are super happy that the dinghy is back and I just fixed the landlines the last bit and the anchor I'm waiting for the motor to cool down and switch off the motor and then we're gonna have some dinner and just uh, enjoy the spot being alone because Gojek Bay is really beautiful really protected you can be there whole year I think uh, but it's really really crowded and it reminds me of Ibiza in summertime um, so I'm happy to be here a little bit more uh, alone with the family and uh, hopefully our packages will arrive tomorrow so we can pick them up and then go to Fethia CPR test checking out and going to Greece oh, look at them going So there are two, just a boat approaching with a spear diver. Yes, man! <laughs> and it appears they, these guys are following us on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> and now they are offering us That's a lionfish. Lionfish, yeah. only the fish that we caught today. <laughs> oh. But a lionfish, you have to cut the. Uh... Yes, yes. I have a scissor here. I have a scissor. Okay. I cut the. Yes. Because otherwise they are poison. poison. Yes. But it is delicious. White white meat. Okay. It's nice. Wow. It's, it's delicious. But you're doing a good job because the lionfish are not good for the environment. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. Yes. That's why I'm only catching those. Ah. I saw grouper and other fishes as well, but I didn't <coughs> catch you, them. Okay. I, I saw groupers this size, bigger than those. Yeah. Wow. I didn't shoot them. I only because it's the small. lionfish. Now it's clear. Yeah, yeah, you can touch it now. No now I have to cut it. Yes, and then you clean. take inside. Take the guts okay. and everything yeah. out. Yes. Yeah. Just clean it. Um, okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. So the, the family just passed by and they said we are preparing the fish so please bring the fish to us we're gonna prepare it for you and to clean it so uh Benjamin go!
this is Turkish hospitality. First they bring fish, then they say we will clean the fish, then they say we will cook the fish. <laughs> We're gonna miss turkey. We're really gonna miss turkey. It's fish. 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 Spots. Final two stops. Good check and Fatia. Greece, here we come. <laughs> yeah, because we're not going to Malta but to Greece, we are allowed to enter. Um, at least that's what we hope with the PCR test. And uh, otherwise, we still have to transit toward Malta or Montenegro. Yeah. But the maybe, captain. Uh, maybe we still go to Malta. Yeah, Malta is still on the list. Possible list. Possible list. Yeah. So we're gonna sail through the bay of Göcek towards Göcek Marina with the marine we have some packages to pick up and then we're going over there to Fethia to do the PCR test and to make us ready to cross uh, into Europe finally So, sailing is on, racing is on. So, Ger is a little bit sad. Nah, I think yeah, it's, better it's for necessary. Yeah. It's, it's for us, it's peace of mind. Hey. Yes, his name is Gunther. So our first longer crossing as a family, finally. It was uh, very special to leave Turkey. Also a little bit difficult. Gerber had some uh, abandoning issues. 